Hello everyone. Welcome to Power Electronics lecture series. In today's video, we are going to solve some problems on snubber circuits. So let's get started. So previously we had derived the formulas uh, for inductor, capacitor and resistor, isn't it? So in this video, we are going to use those expressions. So let us make a note of them and uh, it will be very helpful for us to solve the numericals. So the first important formula is L is given by L is equal to V divided by DI by DT. RS has been given by L by V into DV by DT or RS is equal to 2 times Zeta. So this is Zeta. The symbol is like this. So please make a note of it into root of L by C or CS. The third important formula is Cs is equal to 2 zeta by Rs whole square into L. There is another expression for Cs which we have not derived but these are very important to solve problems if the value of zeta is not given in certain cases. So we have Cs is equal to 1 by 2L into 0.564 Vm whole divided by dV by dt whole square. So I would suggest you to make a note of these three formulas and uh, we will be solving five different numericals and uh, each of them will give you a fair amount of understanding on how to approach these type of circuits and analyze the problems. So let's get started. The first problem is stated as follows. ACR is operated with a supply voltage of 400 volt. The dV by dt is 500 volt per microseconds and di by dt is 20 amps per microseconds. Calculate the values of snubber circuit parameters and inductance for a damping ratio of 0.5. So the first and foremost important things that you have to do is always write the given data. So first write given and make a note of whatever is being stated in the problem. They have given V as 400 volt so make a note of it. They have given dV by dt as 500 volt per microsecond, isn't it? Apart from that, they have also given us di by dt and its value is given as 20 amp per microsecond. So this unit is very very important and it plays a very important role while substituting. And finally, they have also given the value of zeta as 0.5. So once you have written the given data, it will not take you much time to solve these problems. So let us follow the step by step procedure where the first step that is step one is to find the value of inductor. Find L. So how do we do that? L is given by the formula V divided by di by dt. So Substituting value of V that is 400 whole divided by 20 divided by 10 power minus 6. Be very careful here because 20 per microseconds. So per micro should be considered. So per is given by the slash symbol 20 divided by 10 power minus 6 is the value that they have given us. So solving this you will be getting the value of L to be equal to 20 micro Henry. So I hope this step one is clear to you. I would suggest you to parallelly make a note of it because it will give you a great understanding and you will never forget this approach. Step two is to find the value of resistor. So find the value of RS. So we know that from the formula that we have listed RS is equal to L divided by D, L divided by V into dV by dt, isn't it? So we will be substituting the value of L that is 20 micro Henry that we have obtained previously whole divided by V is 400 into we have the value of dV by dt as 500 divided by 10 power minus 6 because here we have 500 volt per microsecond. So you have to write in this particular way. Solving this particular equation or the expression you will be getting 25 ohms as RS. 
so we know the value of l we know the value of rs so it will not take us much time to find the value of cs isn't it so step 3 is to find the value of cs so you can also call it as c or cs depending upon your uh, convenience but if you are following cs follow cs throughout so cs is given by the formula that is 2 zeta whole divided by rs whole square into L. So they've given us the value of zeta, so we are using this formula. So Cs is equal to 2 into 0.5 whole divided by Rs we have found out as 25. So substitute in brackets whole square into L. That is 20 into 10 power minus 6. So you will be getting the value of Cs to be equal to 32 nano farad. So we have found the value of L, we have found the value of RS, we have found the value of CS. So that is it with respect to this particular question. So whenever they're telling you to design this number circuit parameters, you have to basically find the value of L, you have to find the value of RS, and you have to find the value of CS. I hope till this point you have understood problem number one. So that is it with respect to this. So we will be looking at problem number two. Problem number two is slightly different with respect to certain aspects. So we will be looking at that. So at the first place, let us try to understand what this question is all about. So they've given calculate the required parameters for snubber circuit to provide DV by DT protection to an SCR used in single phase bridge converter. The SCR has a maximum DV by DT capability of 60 volt per microsecond. The input line to line voltage has a peak of 425 volt and the source inductance is 0.2 millihenry. So as usual, we will be writing the given parameters. So whatever is given, we will make a note of it. So they have given the value of dv by dt and its value is given as 60 volt per microseconds. They have also given the value of inductance directly. So L is equal to 0.2 millihenry. They have given the value of VM, very, very important point. Peak value, voltage has a peak value of 425 means it is VM. So basically single phase bridge converter in the sense, the supply is AC. So VM is equal to 425 volt. So very, very important point. Now, we will be finding the value of C and then we will be finding the value of R. So at the first place, how do we find the value of C? So let us consider step number one to find C. So if you carefully observe, we have Vm and I had another equation for Cs, isn't it? So that particular equation is what we are going to take into account now. So CS is equal to 1 by 2L into 0.564 times VM whole divided by DV by DT whole square. So this is totally based on the context of the question, whether to use this particular equation of CS or the other equation of CS. So we will be substituting the values that are there. That is 1 divided by 2 into 0.2 into 10 power minus 3 and we have 0.564 times Vm that is the peak value that is given as 425 in this case and then we have the value of dv by dt given as 60 per 10 power minus 6 whole square. So you will be getting the value of Cs after solving as CS is equal to 0 0.04 microfarad. So we have found the value of CS. Now our next step is to find the value of R or RS. So step two is to find the value of RS. So what is the formula for RS? So RS is equal to 2 times zeta into root of L by C. 
So when they have not given the value of zeta, so we will be assuming zeta to be equal to 0.65 for finding the value of RS. So you might ask me a question. Zeta was there in capacitors equation as well. There is another equation that contains zeta, isn't it? But why we are not using that? Here, if you carefully observe, we have the term Vm and in the equation they have given Vm and that is why we have used this formula. So if they have not given the value of zeta, we will be considering it as 0.65 which we have seen while deriving the expressions for RL and C in our previous video, isn't it? So we will be substituting all these values and you will be basically getting the value of RS to be equal to 92 ohms. So since the value of L was already given, our focus here was to find the value of CS and RS. So basically we have found out all the parameters that are required for snubber circuit. I hope this question is clear. So let's move on to the next one. Problem number three. So they have given design the values of DI by DT inductor and RC snubber components for the ACR working in a 230 volt system and DI by DT rating is 90 ampere per microsecond and DV by DT rating is 200 volt per microsecond. Effective series resistance is 1.5 ohm and take the damping factor as 0.6. So at the first place, as usual, we will be starting off by writing the given parameters so that we don't go wrong anywhere. So the given parameters, they've given supply voltage as 230 volt. They've given the value of DI by DT as 90 ampere per microseconds. They've given the value of DV by DT as 200 volt per microsecond. They've also given us the series resistance RS is equal to 1.5 ohms. Apart from that, they've given us the damping factor that is 0.6. Now, if you carefully observe, this effective series resistance RS is not our resistance that is with respect to snubber circuit. This is the resistor that is connected in series with the ACR. So for example, if you have a supply connected, that is VS, you have a resistor here and you have a thyristor connected. And then you have another circuit where there is another resistor and capacitor. And then you have an inductor connected, isn't it? So in this case, this RS is what they've given as 1.5 ohms. And we have to find this value of R. So don't get confused and don't assume this RS to be the actual value of R and solve the problems. This is a mistake that almost all of the students will be doing. So be very careful with respect to this. So the approach that we will be taking is quite similar. So we will be starting off with finding the value of L. So step one starts with the value of L. So how do we find the value of L? L is given by Vs whole divided by Di by Dt, isn't it? So substituting for the values of Vs that is 230 divided by 90 whole divided by 10 power minus 6, you will be arriving at the expression or the value of L to be equal to 2.556 micro Henry. So I, f I find step one is very simple and straightforward. So you would be able to find the value directly. Now we have to find the value of capacitor. That is step two is to find the value of capacitor. To find C. Now how do we find the value of C? C is given by the formula one whole divided by two L into open the brackets 0.564 times Vm whole divided by dV by dt whole square. Now we will be substituting these values that is 1 divided by 2 into 2.556 into 10 power minus 6 into in the brackets we have 0.564 
पॉइंट फाइव सिक्स फोर इंटू टू थर्टी होल स्क्वायर सो बी वेरी केयरफुल हियर होल स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाई यू हैव टू हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाई टेन पावर माइनस सिक्स दिस टेन पावर माइनस सिक्स बेसिकली विल गो टू द न्यूमरेटर सिंप्लीफाइंग एंड सॉल्विंग दिस पर्टिकुलर एक्सप्रेशन यू विल बी गेटिंग पॉइंट जीरो एट टू टू micro farad so we have found out the value of l we have found out the value of c they have also asked us to find the value of r they have given us the effective series resistance that is rs or if you assume this series resistance as r and you can also find the value of rs so basically don't get confused with the terminologies r or rs it doesn't matter but they have given series resistance as 1.5 so i have considered that as rs and we will be finding the value of r now so how do we find the value of r so let's look at step number 3 to find the value of r so now comes an interesting formula that is this is the formula to find the value of r that is rs plus r is equal to 2 zeta into root of l by c now you might be asking me a question as how do we have rs plus r isn't it so it is very simple so if you have a supply that is vs and you have a resistor rs that is 1.5 ohms given and you are connecting it to an acr and through that you are connecting it to another resistor r which you have to find and you have a capacitor and then you have an inductor isn't it and you have a return path assuming you have a load here and you have a return path now when the acr is in forward blocking mode assuming we derived this expression for this will be open circuit so when this is open circuit we will be left out with only this path isn't it so when you consider this particular path rs and r are obviously in series and that is why i have added the expression for rs plus r now in this expression we know the value of rs that is 1.5 plus r that is equal to 2 into the value of zeta is given to us and we will be substituting the value of l that is 2.556 into 10 power minus 6 whole divided by you have 0.0822 into 10 power minus 6 simplifying and solving this particular expression you will be getting r is equal to 1 point i'm sorry you'll be getting r is equal to 5.18 ohms so we have found the value of r we have found the value of l we have found the value of c and this basically solves the snubber circuit parameters so we have basically found all the parameters that are asked in this particular question so the only challenge in this question is people get confused with the value of r so basically they will assume that the value of r is given and they will substitute in the equations and go wrong so if you carefully observe this is the approach that we have to solve let us look at our example number 4 that is problem 4 they have given as a question stating that acr circuit operates from 300 volt dc supply as a series inductance of 4 micro henry resistance of 4 ohms and a capacitance of 0.2 microfarad is connected across the acr calculate the cf dv by dt and di by dt ratings of the acr so as usual we will be starting off with our given parameters we will make a note of it so they have given the value of vm that is 300 volt dc supply they have given the value of l that is to be equal to 4 micro henry they have given the value of resistor r or rs to be equal to 4 ohms they have given the capacitor value that is cs to be equal to 0.2 microfarad so we can solve this in two steps basically they have asked us to find the value of dv by dt and di by dt so it's very simple so we will be finding the value of di by dt at the first place so find di by dt so how do we do that 
we know the expression for L that is equal to Vs whole divided by Ti by dt. So the supply here is basically Vm, so don't get confused. So you have 300 volt that is given. So in this expression, can we write Di by dt is equal to Vs by L? So Vs is basically 300 volt when it is DC supply. So Vs and Vm, basically both of them will be same because they have given it as DC supply. So you will be substituting the value of Vs whole divided by L that is 4 into 10 power minus 6. So you will be getting 75 amps per microseconds. So be very careful here because 10 power minus 6 if you retain it as it is rather than it going to the numerator and solving it or you can express it in terms of microseconds. It should be in per microsecond. So be very careful while solving this and substituting the values. So this is the value of di by dt. Step 2 is to find out the value of dv by dt. So to find dv by dt. Now how do we proceed with this? We know from the capacitor expression we have the value of dv by dt, isn't it? So we basically need to consider that particular expression 0.564 Vm whole divided by dv by dt whole square. In this particular expression, we will be substituting the respective values 0.2 into 10 power minus 6 is equal to 1 by 4, 2 into 4 into 10 power minus 6 into 0.564 times Vm is basically into 300 volt whole divided by dv by dt which is given to be basically this is the value that we have to find isn't it so dv by dt we'll be keeping it as it is and when we are sol simplifying and solving this particular expression you will be getting dv by dt is equal to 133.76 volt per microsecond again be very careful you have to represent this in microsecond volt per microseconds so it doesn't matter if you represent it in milli also, but it should be with respect to voltage and seconds. That is the important thing that you have to remember. So here a lot of people make mistakes. So whole square is there. So you have to square it up and then take the root of the value in order to find the value of dv by dt. So we have found out the value of di by dt. We have found out the value of dv by dt. So that is our question. So we have done with problem number four. Now let us look at our final problem, problem number 5, which is slightly interesting compared to all the other problems. So at the first place, let us read the question. SCR has a DI by DT rating of 120 amps per microsecond and DV by DT rating of 300 volt per microsecond. It operates on a 250 volt DC source with a load resistance of 10 ohms. Find the suitable values for the components of the snubber circuit. So basically, they are asking us to find the value of RLC for the snubber circuit. Let us first write the given parameters at one place. Given initially, that is di by dt is equal to 120 amps per microseconds. You have dv by dt is given as 300 volt per microsecond. They have also given us the value of Vm or you can also call it as Vs for DC source that is 250 volt. They've given us the value RL. They've given us the load over here and for that we have to find the value of RL and C. So that is where it is slightly different. So let us get started with step number one. As usual, we will be finding the value of L which is given by the formula L is equal to Vm whole divided by di by dt. Vm is nothing but 250 whole divided by 120 divided by 10 power minus 6. So substituting and solving, you will be getting L is equal to 2.08 microhenry. So we have found this. Our next step is to find the value of C, that is capacitor, to find C. So the capacitance 
is given by 1 by 2L into 0.564 times Vm whole divided by dv by dt whole square. So we know all the values that are here. So substituting and solving this particular equation or expression, you will be getting 0 0.053 microfarad. So we know the value of L that is 2.08 microhenry. We know the value of C that is 0 0.053 microfarad. Now we need to find the value of that is the resistor R. So let us consider the expression for R given as R plus RL is equal to 2 zeta into root of L by C. Now you might be having a doubt as why R plus RL. We only have the expression R is equal to 2 zeta into root of L by C, isn't it? So the explanation holds good, the explanation holds good for the problem that we had solved previously. So if you have a DC source, say Vs or Vm, so you will be connecting a SCR in this particular fashion and you have a resistor R and you have a capacitor C and you have an inductor L and then you have a load which is basically they have given as a resistive load and it is RL. So when a CR is in forward blocking mode and it acts as open circuit, so this point will be open. So it will be acting as open circuit. The current will be flowing through this path, isn't it? So when the current is flowing through this path, what will happen? R and RL are obviously connected in series. And that is why we have R plus RL is equal to 2 zeta into root of L by C. I hope this point is clear. So they've given us the value of RL that is 10 ohms. So substituting 2 into 0.65 into root of L by C, that is 2.08 into 10 power minus 6 whole divided by the capacitor value that is 0 0.053 into 10 power minus 6. So you will be getting after you solve the value as minus 1.856 ohms. Now you would be confused. So resistor does not have any polarity. We are getting in minus. So what does that indicate? So if you have minus that indicates that you don't need this resistor R. We don't need R in this circuit. So why? It is because the value of C capacitor, usually this R is selected so that the capacitor discharges through the resistor, isn't it? But here, since the value of R is negative, that means the load resistance alone, so the capacitor can discharge through this path and load resistor RL, the load resistance alone is enough for discharging the capacitance value. So you don't need the resistance value at all. So this is the important conclusion that you should make a note of. I hope all these five problems you were able to understand it in a much better way. I would suggest you to solve it again and try to uh, get familiarized with this type of numericals and you will be able to apply this in any number of problems that you see in the future. If you like this video, please do like it, share it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates. Thanks for watching.